Minasan Konnichiwa, Watashi wa Sonic MTD Des, and welcome to Always Write Reviews. These next couple months happen to be particularly insane for me. What do I typically mean by that? Well, this past weekend I was over at YetiCon. On June 9th, I was celebrating my 27th birthday. This Saturday, I'm going to be working for Sailor Moon Con, and on July 28th to the 30th, I'm going to be working for Con Bravo as once again I return as their media liaison. Not to mention all the little micro tours and shows that I do with my band City and Wires, and as a solo artist, Sonic MTD, it kind of goes without saying that I'm in very high demand right now. But that being said, this brings me to my main point. My videos will continue as they are scheduled to, which is on the third Wednesday of every single month. In order to deal with the high demand though, a lot of the audio for it was recorded well over a year in advance. The video editing is what you come to know and expect, but uh, the audio portion, just like Shimonetta, represents a very early stage of what Always Write Reviews was intended to do. It does get better over time, as I slowly started learning the more videos and the more reviews I started making. But I hope that you enjoy this. This video in particular was supposed to be a Halloween episode for the previous show that I was a part of. Since I was let go before it ever got to air, you guys get to enjoy it. So once again, I'd like to thank you very much for watching these videos, and without further ado, let's start the show. Or shall I say, Yosh, Ikuzo. You know, I was not planning on talking about Yakuza Dead Souls. It's a game that's been out for a while, and to be honest, I'm a total fanboy of the series. It also doesn't help that with over four games in the franchise, it's difficult as hell to condense the story into small digestible chunks. And yet, here we are. Why? Why? Cause Yakuza 5 is on the PSN and I gotta get my fix! Whoa, that kinda came out of nowhere. Um... Obviously, I've got a lot of issues to deal with, but we're going to save that for another time. So while I'm obviously anticipating the newest release in this series, let's review and analyze something that isn't even canon. You know, for fun! Here's my review of Yakuza Dead Souls. <laughs> Yakuza Dead Souls is the fifth game in the Yakuza series published by Sega. The Yakuza series was created by Toshihiro Nagoshi and was started out on the PS2 way back in 2005. Originally known as Ryuga Gotoku, Yakuza is a gritty crime drama centered around Kazuma Kiryu, a former lieutenant of the Tojo clan who despite the fact that he's left organized crime, keeps getting pulled back in. The franchise for the most part is a third person brawler where you utilize everything from fists to bicycles to guns to John Cena's to magic girl weapons. One of those things is made up, ladies and gentlemen. Figure out which one it is. The combat has primarily been a little clunky, but the main focus is the story, the characters, and just the overall craziness that the developers threw in. Here's a brief summary of the entire series leading up to the game. The first game sets the tone of gritty crime drama. The second game raises the stakes and introduces some interesting new characters. Third game, skip it. The story took a backseat to introduce all the new minigames and features that comes with a new console. The fourth game recovers covers the fumble and tells an engaging story with new protagonists. Yakuza Dead Souls is completely out of left field. The gameplay breaks the tradition of brawling and instead becomes a third person shooter. It's also clunky as hell. The primary lock on using the L1 button and then using the R1 to fire is simple enough. However, to actually aim your shots, you have to be completely motionless and hold the L2 button while using the left thumbstick. It's aggravating because why didn't they use the right thumbstick for that? This isn't new, video games have been using the right thumbstick since the 90s. Get it together! As you start taking down foes, the heat gauge meter begins to fill up. The meter allows you to pull off ridiculous moves in the form of quick time events, and in this one, it's no different. Blow up practically anything to take out a bunch of undead. The weapons you have at your disposal range from handguns, shotguns, machine guns, assault rifles, sniper rifles, better sniper rifles, gatling guns, thrown, and melee weapons. Now the audio in the game is satisfactory. Sega knows how to use instrumentals to heighten the tension. That's all you really need in terms of music from this game. And it goes without saying that I don't consider the story in Dead Souls canon at all. It's kind of like an anime OVA that's at the end of the series. Don't take it too seriously and just enjoy yourselves is the primary feeling I got while playing this game. Keep in mind, this game came at a time where a lot of Halloween style add-ons were being released a la Infamous Festival of Blood, Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare, Sleeping Dogs Nightmare North Point, etc. 
etc, etc. Kazuma Kiryu might be the main protagonist, but he's also joined alongside three other characters. Shin Akiyama, a money lender with a heart of gold. He's one of the other protagonists that is from Yakuza 4, who despite being a bit aloof, wants to make the world a better place. Ryuji Goda, the primary antagonist from Yakuza 2 who since left organized crime to become a Takayaki chef. He might seem calm and collected, but he used to be a monster who attempted to seize Okinawa and Tokyo under a coup d'etat. Goro Majima, insanity personified, and I f***ing love this guy. This is the one guy who absolutely needs to be in this game. Needs to! Like Kazuma, he's a lieutenant in the Tojo clan. Unlike Kazuma, he stayed in organized crime and soon rose to power. Majima also runs a moderately legit construction company. Yakuza Dead Souls is primarily a chance to parody a lot of horror tropes, and there's a lot of tongue-in-cheek humor as a result. I would also like to applaud Sega personally for the amount of effort they put into this game. You see, Yakuza takes place in the fictional city of Kamurocho, which is inspired by Kabukicho, located in Shinjuku. As the story goes on, parts of Kamurocho get quarantined off as the SDF tries to protect its clueless citizens from the undead masses. In order to do this, the development team had to essentially make two maps of the city and periodically add layers over time. The amount of detail is kind of insane, and most games would have half-assed it. Now I'm going to talk about the good, but I need to talk about the bad for balancing. Yakuza is clunky and repetitive as sh**. The games have an RPG style of gaining EXP, which you can use to upgrade your stats and abilities. Every game in the series has this, and I'm not knocking it. But that being said, the amount of grinding and zombie killing you have to do makes this game tedious. For the first couple hours, I was trying to find gear and mod my guns, but after a while, I felt like I was filing taxes. You're going to be killing a lot of zombies in this game, and outside of heat actions and mutant variants, you're going to be getting bored of it. I've currently beaten the campaign and possessed 91 hours into my save file. I'm still not at level 100 yet. I don't plan to reach level 100 either. Thankfully, I've got videos to be making for you guys instead. So once you've beaten the campaign, you might be asking, what exactly is there to do now? Hello, I'd like to welcome you to Yakuza. Don't worry, as your senpai, I'll fill you in. The Yakuza franchise has really become an interesting animal to say the least. If you're bored with zombies, guess what? Sky's the limit, mother -fucker. Wanna play casino games? Bam, there's purgatory. Wanna go to a host club? Bam, Shine and Jewel got you covered. Fishing, batting cages, golf, darts, pachinko, arcade games. Yo dog, I heard you like games, so we put a game in your game so you could play while you play. Shogi, mahjong, sexy table tennis, bowling, karaoke mini games. God, I love the karaoke ones. So yeah, if you get bored with hunting undead alone or with NPCs, you have hours upon hours of playtime just by killing time. Although, I do want to point out how Sega has downgraded Cosma's adopted daughter Haruka. In previous games, you'd hang out with her and level up her affection meter by doing various challenges. You didn't have to commit to them and often could back out of the challenges if they were too difficult for you. In this version, you can't decide to do something else. So if Haruka wants you to earn 901 points and darts in under 15 rounds, you're not going to progress further until you do it. Granted, it's a small little nitpick, but this is a game where the small stuff can take you out of the immersion. So at the end of the review, Yakuza Dead Souls is an entertaining little romp through the streets of downtown Camarocho. The story is entertaining, the gameplay is crap, and the side attractions are enough to keep you playing if you want to. I would honestly recommend you try this one before you buy it. It's one of those games where you either get it or you don't. If this is your first run through in the series, get Yakuza 4 first. So at the end of this review, I'm Sonic MTD, and when we're done saving the world, I really think we should hit up karaoke later. Come on, you know you wanna. Hey everybody, thank you very much for catching my fifth episode of Always Right Reviews where we covered Ryo Ga Gotoku of the End, otherwise known as Yakuza Dead Souls. Please be sure to like and subscribe to this video and leave me a comment down below. Regardless of what it is, I always read what is posted because, let's face it, you guys are trying to help me improve my craft. Please be sure to like and subscribe to the video and take a look at some of the links that are on this side of the webpage. Up top, something that YouTube probably recommends that you should watch. At the bottom is a playlist of the entire series. Either way, not going to take any more of your time. Thanks for watching, and have a good night. It's